Today I'm going to show you how to add multiple users to your MetaQuest 3 headset and set up a parent managed account. Subscribe to CNET for more how-to videos. Adding multiple accounts on the Quest 3 is pretty simple and if you have small kids that want to play, you're going to want to have some parental controls in place like time limits and locked apps. Your main account is the admin and then you can have three additional accounts on the Quest 3 and Quest 2. The admin account can share all the purchased apps on the headset with all the users. To share your apps, put on the Quest 3 headset and pull up the universal menu by pressing the menu button on the right hand controller and select settings. Then select accounts and toggle on the app sharing switch. Now you're sharing all your purchase apps from the MetaQuest store. It's worth noting that you cannot share apps across different headsets. So I can't share my apps with multiple users on my MetaQuest 2 if I have toggled this switch on in the MetaQuest 3. You can switch it off and go back to the Quest 2 if needed. Now you need to create meta accounts for each user. As you can see, I already created accounts for my kids. If you don't have a meta account, you can create one or log in with your Facebook account and merge your account. For this video, I'll set up a new account for a fictional child so you can see how the process works. Create a new meta account for your child by going to the Meta Family Center and log into your existing meta account. Next, select create an account for a child from the options available and follow the on-screen instructions. You can also invite a teen to create an account on the headset. Your child must be between 10 and 12 years old to have a parent supervised meta account. This age limit varies by region. The child account has privacy and security features on by default and they cannot be changed until the child turns 13. Once a child turns 13, they will be automatically opted into a supervised account, but the parent and teen can decide whether to keep the supervised account and turn off certain features. Their name, birth date, and an email address are required to complete the setup process. I've dropped a link in the description of this video to Meta's page for creating a child or teen account in the Meta Family Center and for converting an existing Meta account to a child's account if you need more information. You can also set up and manage a parent supervised account in the Meta app if you prefer doing everything on mobile. You can access parental supervision settings including daily time limits, scheduled breaks, and locked apps from the Meta app. Now that the child account is set up, you can add a user to the headset. Put the headset back on and go to settings and select accounts again, and then select add account. You will be prompted to create an unlock pattern for your headset if you don't already have one set up before adding additional accounts. You will now see an eight digit code in your headset. On your mobile phone, go to meta.com slash device and enter the eight digit code. Once the new user account is added, you can add your name and create a username that will be visible to other Quest players. The new account will be added and your headset will begin to walk your child through all the safety features on the MetaQuest 3. Until the headset is comfortable and text on the screen is clear. To change users, select the user profile icon on the far left hand side of the universal menu and then select switch user on the top right. So that's how to add a new account to have multiple users sharing one headset. If you like this video, give us a like and subscribe to CNET's massive YouTube channel. And let us know in the comments if you have any tips for adding multiple users on the headset. And thanks for watching.